Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that FlyOB had received its latest update to version 2.2 and I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to play catch up. But something interesting that was mentioned in the changelog by the developer of FlyOB, Beelum, caught my eye and I thought I just wanted to share it with you because I think it sums up how we kind of are feeling about Windows 11, especially now with the end of support of Windows 10, because I think with the direction that Microsoft is going with Windows 11, especially wanting to turn it into an agentic operating system, you know, with a lot of AI in every nook and cranny, I think Microsoft has lost a lot of trust with its uh, user base, as we have been talking about on the channel. And I've run polls on this, I've posted videos on this, so I think this is quite common knowledge. Now, FlyOB, if you have viewed the channel for some time, basically lets you bypass the Windows 11 strict system requirements. And is also a debloat tool, just to mention two capabilities of the actual app. And Beelum, the developer, created the tool for that very reason. Now, Beelum has this to say, and I thought this was interesting. He says, and I'm quoting, Maybe one day they'll fix real performance issues, talking about Windows 11 now, instead of adding another glowing co-pilot button. And honestly, it hurts watching an OS you once loved slowly being run into the ground by the wrong priorities and decisions. Let's see how long it takes until they manage to chase me away to another shore as well, quote unquote. And I thought that was interesting because, because I think it sums up a lot of what I see in the comments of viewers of this channel regarding Windows 11, especially the fact that a lot of Windows 10 devices cannot be upgraded to Windows 11 due to strict hardware requirements, although they can run Windows 10 perfectly fine. And as I've posted in previous videos, Microsoft does seem to be out of touch with its user base in regards to its direction it's taking with AR. And all the AR and features, so-called features that Microsoft is shoving into the operating system now are just basically bloat at the end of the day, according to what I see and what I'm observing. So I thought that was interesting. Just the views of the developer of FlyOB, which is becoming and has become actually a very popular third-party app. So do you agree with Beelum? Let's see how long it takes until they manage to chase me away to another shore as well. Be interested to know your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.